Okay, this is a video about the uh, wine room that I had built into my house. Uh, uh, built a house and got talked into making wine room. If I had to do it over again, I would not do a wine room. Uh, uh, yeah, it's kind of, I guess it was more or less a vanity decision. Let's see, now I have a wine room, I have all this wine. I'm never gonna drink all this wine, it's too much wine to drink. Um, I don't recommend building these actually. <laughs> Uh, but since I have this wine, I got to take care of it. So um, there is a wine cooling system in the ceiling. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, we put in this nice glass. Um, uh, the wine cooling system uh, drain line uh, got clogged up and the water came in here. Um, so I recommend if you build one of these, uh, put drains in there. Um, most people think that wine rooms don't really have any water, so why would you need a drain? Highly recommend a drain to deal with the condensation that comes from the evaporator coils, um, just in case the drain line gets clogged up. I didn't know any of this. Um, drain line did get clogged up and the water hit the uh, tile and ran off into my nice wood flooring uh, next to the tile. I'm an idiot for putting wood flooring in here like this right next to the wine room. Um, the water went in there and buckled the floor and we're gonna have to replace all this here. Um, all right. Uh, very quickly though, uh, I have a Whisper Cool ceiling mount 4000 up in the ceiling there. Um, let's go in here and take a look. Uh, uh, one of the problems with the Whisper, with, with I guess probably any uh, wine cooling system, especially ceiling mount wine cooling systems, is you, you really have to be careful with the condensation. Um, condensation in ceiling mount systems, remember the drip pan is at the bottom, it has to get pumped up uh, past the system and out of drain line. Um, all right, in the Whisper Cool system, the water pan is made out of metal, uh, which is very unfortunate because a lot of rust forms in there. Um, and all that, and then um, a little switch sits in that pan and tells uh, the water pump to turn on when there's water there, and um, the water gets pumped out to the drain line. Um, yeah, so this is my first uh, switch that I had. Got filled up with rust and uh, uh, failed, and the water stopped pumping. The water stopped pumping out. I had to get a new switch, a new pump anyway, because it was filled up with uh, rust. Um, but this is this is the design flaw, at least in my neophyte understanding of things. This is, I think, the design flaw in the Whisper Cool system. Um, because that tray, because it's made of metal, causes um, the pump to clog up. So here's my new pump. Um, I took the switch off because I'm having it clean. Look at all the rust, by the way, forming on this. That's not good. Um, yeah, I don't think this should be made of metal. It's sitting in water. Um, but anyway, so uh, this is disconnected. This is disconnected from the hose that uh, runs out to the drain line. Let's go take a look where the drain line comes out. Uh, the drain line comes out right here into this PVC pipe right there. And, oops, I cut the video off, but here's the con continuation. So um, let me back up a step. I recommend you make an access hatch next to the whisper cool because you're gonna wanna access that drain line eventually, especially to blow air through it pump it, uh, clean it out with all the crap that gets into the drain line, you're gonna wanna get up there and blow that PVC pipe out um, to make sure that, you know, water doesn't get trapped or blocked. Um, yeah, so water is, the way the Whisper Cool deals with water is my least favorite part of this entire system. Um, yeah, it, it, I just wish it, <laughs> This needs to get inspected and looked at at a minimum, minimum every three months. That's a lot of work. You gotta take this plate off here. You gotta take this off. You gotta take that out. Um, yeah, you know, it's a real pain. Um, maybe just avoid ceiling mount systems altogether. I mean, that's a, you know, I, it's a lot of work. Um, at least with a wall mount system, if there was a wall mount system, um, with the back side of it on the other wall, and, you know, it's obvious if, if, I don't know, at least it, it seems like it would be easier. 
Um, that's it. All right. Uh, oh, let's run upstairs and go take a look at the new water switch, which I took upstairs to uh, clean out. Okay, this is my so-called new water switch. Um, I just disconnected it from down there. Um, this has been in there for about five months now, four months. I waited too long, right? I mean, look at that. In four months, four or five months, that's what happens in there. So I'm going to take this apart and clean it as best I can. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, one last note on the Whisper Cool. The owner's manual mentions an air filter twice. There's no diagram of how to put an air filter in there. I know that Whisper Cool makes one, um, but I'm going to have to learn how to get an air filter in there. Um, dust is murder on evaporator cool, so you don't want any dust in there. So definitely figure out how to get the air filter in there. Um, yeah, you want to keep that system as clean as possible um, to keep it efficient. All right, that's it.